Now, right now, parts of southern Indiana are cleaning up because we had storms overnight. Before we see what's happening outside right now, let's show you this video from a webcam. This was at the West Baden Springs Hotel in French Lick. This was around the time that that storm rolled through. The National Weather Service out of Louisville reporting damage in the Paoli area, including in the town square area. Look at this. Also, mm. some roof damage and trees down and Im impact to the roofs there across different parts of Orange County. So that south South and west of Indianapolis. Right now, outside, we have heavy rain, and uh, yeah. Lindsay's been tracking it for us. Yeah, good news is most of central Indiana did not see that severe weather. It stayed mainly in southern Indiana, mm -hmm. so we'll wait to hear back from the Weather Service out of Louisville to see if that was, in fact, a confirmed tornado there. Mm -hmm. We've had heavy rain. The right. severe threats come to an end here locally, but it's just been very damp and kind of a dreary day overall. So look dreary, at this. Ooh, it's a rough one. This is I-65 down in Greenwood right now. This is a very heavy storm cell that's moving through from a rain standpoint. Very limited lightning and again, that severe threat uh, not going to be in effect for our area for the rest of the day. So that's some good news. We're just going to be dealing with some of these good old fashioned rain showers for the next couple of hours before everything starts to dissipate and we eventually see some clearing later today. So this is the latest from the Storm Prediction Center. We had a new tornado watch that was issued for places like Cincinnati and eastward and that's where that highest risk of severe weather is going to be for the rest of the day today for us here locally it's just been some rain and the heavy pockets of rain that now extend to the southern half of the uh, Indianapolis metro that's really from the Greenwood area down toward Franklin and then steadier rainfall still falling down in the Rushville area taking us over toward Connorsville as well so we'll continue to monitor where these heavier pockets of rain are falling Connorsville getting in on a pretty solid uh, round of rain as we speak give it a couple of hours and I do anticipate most of this moving out. That is as the storm system will continue to track off to the east. So we look ahead at more dry time, mainly after the evening rush and then even some sunshine for Tuesday. We'll talk more about your full forecast in just a bit.